with the pommel or the cross guard? I don't think that's German. That sounds like Viking stuff to me. It kind of does sound like Viking. Like, I don't think the Germans really came up with it. I think it's like something they would do when they're just in the middle of battle, just flip the thing around and smash someone in the fucking head with it. Not just. Yeah. Flat. Whatever. It's a good technique. Yeah. Very effective. Like old, old swords, like medieval swords, are notoriously dull. So there wasn't a lot of clean cuts happening in those no. days. No, exactly. They didn't have me to sharpen them. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> um, Do you know that in 1969, there was a musician by the name of Jim Sullivan? You ever heard of him? Mm, I don't think so. Well, uh, he released an album in 69 called UFO, and it featured a bunch of strange lyrics about leaving his family and being abducted by aliens. Well, what's really weird is that six years later, he disappeared without a trace. And the only piece of evidence being his abandoned car found on a desert road. Yeah, it was probably just a plot to sell albums. Yeah, I don't think it worked because we've never heard of him. He's, <laughs> he's high note in fucking uh, Taquito, Alaska. He works for the mayor there. <laughs> he works for the mayor there. <laughs> now, this next one, I'm only saying because this is the hands down the dumbest fact i've ever heard in my life because if you didn't know this then you're just a complete and total idiot in the film star wars episode 3 revenge of the sith every single one of the clone troopers was produced using cgi effects yeah no (laughs) say it ain't so (laughs) i could have guessed that. Oh, man. Um, I guess that's that's to somebody. I don't know. (laughs) I I don't know who. If you're like two, maybe. I don't know. (laughs) Um, Yeah. Um, We know that in China in 2013, scientists were able to grow a human tooth from scratch. Using stem cells taken from urine. They claim. That would be so lie about lots of that stuff, so. They certainly lie about everything. That's right. Fucking right. The goat that never, they didn't clone the goat. They said they did. I don't know. Maybe they could. I, I don't know what they, what freaky ass technology they actually have, but. Whatever they surprise. released, they're 10 times past that by now. Well, probably. It wouldn't surprise me. I'm I'm on their side. I'm I'm I would go to the freaky Chinese doctors, and there work Canadians work with them. We we developed a co- uh, vaccine for COVID that's not being released. So <laughs> I love the fact that they're actually saying if if the vaccine comes out, um, it, it's it's bad because it'll um it, it'll it'll stop COVID. <laughs> they're actually thinking this being a bad thing now. That's it's fucking people are stupid. Um, anyways, you know, those, um, um, the spiked and studded, uh, dog collars. Yes. My favorite dog. Would you know why those were originally invented? For humans to look more punk? No, pretty much exactly what I thought, but no, it was actually in, uh, invented, um, in the, uh, by the ancient Greeks who would give their sheep dogs, these spiked collars to protect their necks from wolves. So they look more punk. So they look more punk. They could yell stuff about being punk. That's what Greeks did a lot. You don't hear that much, but they were they, they were, were punk. Real big the punk scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, I would love to be able to hit the status of uh, being this well known of an artist. Um, Salvador Dali, strange fucking dude as he was. Um, one way he saved a tremendous amount of money um when he would go to like meals and like go to like meals for drinks or food or whatever else um he would pay by check but the thing is that he would draw pictures on the checks making them works of art therefore uncashable that's a good idea that's fucking genius he also never signed them he only signed on dotted lines 
I just made that up. I have no idea. <laughs> so, really? That's fascinating on its own count. <laughs> that's, a great idea. Uh, that's a good idea. If you're uh, well, now you can't really pay with check anywhere, but no. in his day, that was a great idea. That was genius. Absolute genius. It's pretty good that they got rid of checks for the most part. It's just yeah, so easy to like. There's so much fraud going on in the world right now. Like we just. Checks were a kind of a sketchy thing to begin with. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where you'd almost just think, can, can I just drop it and watch it bounce right now? Or, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I used to hand them out all the time, just giggling. <laughs> You'll take a check? Sorry, I thought you wanted money. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> I used to actually do the thing where I'd send my one check to BC Hydro, and I'd send my hydro check to Talus, and then by the time they figured it out, I could actually afford to pay them both. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys, I must have sent you the wrong check. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's always like six weeks before they figured it out. Yeah. Oh, I mixed up the envelopes again. Uh, here, I'll write you another check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> See you in six weeks. <laughs> uh, you know the Simpsons, right? I've heard of them. Okay, well, Marge Simpson and that tall, blue-ass hair of hers. Mm-hmm. Um, well, apparently, according to Matt Groening, um, uh, he um, the reason why her hair was designed that way is because in his original drawings for her, Marge had rabbit ears. That makes sense. And he wanted to hide it by using that stupid, super tall blue hair. And that's why she has the big, tall blue hair. That's cool. Yeah. Weird little Was thing here. She originally from Life in Hell? <laughs> um, like, they all have rabbit ears in Life in Hell. It's a legit question. <laughs> I guess it technically is. <laughs> Maybe Marge is the leader of Hell. We just never really knew it. Uh, just life in hell is his big thing. It's bigger than the Simpsons, according to him. Really? Yeah. I never followed him much for anything. I he, just watched the episodes. Life in hell is his big his uh, passion project. No, I never found it all that funny, but apparently people do. Uh, I don't. Know. I liked a bunch of the Simpsons episodes and I started getting really dumb real quick. <laughs> That's all I know. Oh, I haven't watched it in years. <laughs> you're 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 doing good then. <laughs> I always liked Futurama though. I hated Futurama at first, but man, I really came to love that show. Really did. Fry is my hero. Yeah, I love Fry. No <laughs> hey, it's the guy I am. <laughs> it's some of the best one liners. <laughs> um, you know, people worry about the saying that uh, video games are are violent, and it's the reason for kids shooting schools and for all this other bullshit. It's all because of video games. Totally true. Well, a little fact has come out that surgeons who play video games at least three hours a week perform twenty seven percent faster and make thirty seven percent fewer errors. But they neglect their wives. But they neglect their wives. That's right. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, that's probably true. I don't doubt that at all. Yeah, no, um, it, it does make sense. They're great for end, high end, high high end coordination. High end coordination. That's what they're good for. <laughs> <laughs> I think hand eye coordination is what I was trying to get at there. But they're good for. That. <laughs> that's just funny <laughs> um there's this uh blind dude in america his name is daniel kish is his name i've actually heard of this guy i watched a little thing on him um well, fuck, a couple of years ago now um Hi. the fascinating thing about daniel kish is that he actually uses echolocation to navigate kind of the same way a bat oh, he produces a clicking sound with his tongue and then listens intently for the sound waves that bounce back so he can find out distances between whatever. Yeah, I heard of that, dude. Yeah, kind of a neat thing. It's a nickname for him. It's called the loneliest guy in America. 
<laughs> yep. That's so why he's always clicking. He's just hoping somebody else will maybe click back. <laughs> no, it's never going to click, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Danny. That's uh, just never catching on. It's just not going to work. <laughs> um, you know, to go in with this whole, uh, you know, well, Americans are fucked. Um, approximately one million dogs in the U.S. are named as the heirs of their owners' wills. Oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. Fucking hell! <laughs> I used to read people's wills in Calgary. There, people do crazy shit. I wasn't supposed to. I was a janitor at the courthouse. <laughs> I used to hang out in the will room and read people's wills. No shit. That's awesome. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to do that. No. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, there was some insane stuff in there. People do some weird shit. <laughs> I, that's one thing I love about a will is that you can put just about anything in there and just kind of hope that people follow it when, when you're done. Oh, they have to. <laughs> Providing it's legal. <laughs> I would always That's... like to put stuff in there that just makes people, they have to do something completely illegal. I think they'd just be funny. Yeah, uh, you, have to I... rob, you have to rob four banks and not get caught. <laughs> well, what would I, what's in your will that's better than what I'm going to get away with robbing four banks? On? Like, if I'm going to rob four banks, then I, why would I give a shit about your will? There's nothing in it. Well, that's just that's just, that's what makes a genius. You don't get anything. That's just my one of my dying wishes. My dying wishes is for you to rob four banks. Go do it. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Now it's I my get dying it. wish. You got to do it. The fuck out of here. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so this is weird. So um. As, as pretty much as almost everybody knows, if you're in a survival thing, if you were to drink seawater, it would actually dehydrate you and lead you to your death much faster than anything else. But a weird thing is that if you eat frozen seawater, it's vastly less harmful. Uh, well, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah. The, the salt is separated from the water when freezing. As it does, uh, as it uh, does not fit into the crystalline structure of ice. Right. So there you go. So as long as you're trying to survive by the ocean in the dead of winter, you could survive on seawater, sort of. All right. Well, I'll keep that in mind. When my floating plastic island floats up into the cold areas. <laughs> Um, I love this next one because again, just show, I just love the geniusness of this. Um, in 2012, an Afghan Taliban commander, Mohammed Ashin turned himself into local authorities. Why you ask? Well, cause he was trying to claim the hundred dollar reward prize that was seen on a poster for his arrest. That's cool. So he turned himself they, in for a hundred bucks. <laughs> did they give him the money? No. But the thing I'm trying to think is, I mean, I've seen larger rewards for pets gone missing. Well, You're a Taliban like fighter. Even then, though, it's 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 a hundred. I mean, a yeah, hundred bucks American is a billion dollars over there. Yes, but still, Jesus. <laughs> oh. oh man! So there's this organization called the Cult Awareness Network. And um, at one point, they had listed Scientology as its number one most dangerous cult. Still probably should be on that list. Well, what's funny is that Scientology sued the Cult Awareness Network and bought them out in a hostile takeover. That's what evil, dangerous cults do. That's like literally you're, you're the, the, the definition of the most dangerous cult when this is what you do. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I don't think there's any like surprising secrets about Scientology anymore. Well, the only thing I find surprising is that it still exists. That's the only thing I'm surprised about. <laughs> no, there's really nothing you can do about it. Um, 
they, they don't really hurt anyone but Scientologists, as far as I can tell. So I, uh, I don't really care that much. Yeah, that's that is that is kind of true. 